So I've talked a lot over the years about first web experiences and the way a lot of big companies in the ecosystem, in the WordPress ecosystem, and on the web are defining what WordPress or what the website experience looks like to the customer and how over time that can really differ a lot between these different parties. So imagine someone is signing up via WordPress.com or if they are signing up with a new hosting account on GoDaddy or Bluehost or they are buying a theme that promises this full service website and features on ThemeForest. Uh, those were the real big ones at the time, and we're starting to see new potential evolutions of, you know, who the uh, channel managers are for those first web experiences. But the point remains the same, is that different large entities are sort of defining what WordPress is for the people who are having that experience. Now, once you g dig into the WordPress ecosystem, you start to learn that, you know, depending on which host you use or, you know, what decision you make around using a particular page builder or a particular tool, then it will help define your overall experience and what WordPress feels like and what it looks like, what the onboarding process is like. But that first time, the first uh, real um, opportunity you have to see WordPress, that's going to leave a lasting um impact on your view of WordPress and whether it's positive or negative. And what's really interesting is how that's changing over time based on what someone's avenue was towards seeing WordPress for the first time. So I think if you're using something where that's a positive experience, there's a great onboarding experience, uh, and it's very catered to your needs, maybe you install some helper plugins or something that's going to allow you to accomplish your goals then that can be a positive experience. And there are some that are not quite as good where maybe there's a bunch of junk that's brought in in addition to uh, what really needs to be there. Uh, maybe somebody does like that control. All these things impact what someone's initial experience is going to be like, whether it's going to be positive or negative. But what we're seeing as well is, I think especially hosts, and but also others, uh, for instance, some of the bigger page builders, like I talked about last time with, you know, an Elementor creating their own kind of vision of WordPress. Well, the hosts are really doing the same thing, and so are, of course, hosted platforms like WordPress.com or others um, who are creating hosted environments. And they're, <laughs> especially the hosts, they're really starting to... Uh, force consolidation in the market as they do things like acquire teams who are creating experiences they like and they're pulling them in-house to help them build that experience. My question and perhaps a little bit of a challenge for people in our ecosystem is uh, also how are we going to bring the best experiences back to WordPress? Because if you think about WordPress and its onboarding experience, there have been efforts over the years to try to make that better. But I think we could all agree that there's still a long way to go. Most of the emphasis right now is rightly going towards how do we make the website post-editing experience better, the website broad website editing experience better, the FSE, the full site editing uh, acronym, has been popping up a lot lately in core discussions. But what about the... Uh, the core website experience, the core onboarding experience. What are we doing to pull the best ideas from these individuals who are building on top of WordPress, pull them into core and work on making something great? And I really want to see uh, further effort on making that core experience better to be able to cater WordPress so that people can uh, use WordPress in the way that they expect to use it because as WordPress has grown, we don't know necessarily if someone's going to use it as a blog or as an e-commerce tool uh, or a marketing landing page thing or whatever else. And I think we could really unlock a lot of cool stuff if we uh, helped find out how are they going to utilize WordPress and then deliver them a version of WordPress that's catered to that use case and also bring in some kind of 
onboarding tips and help and other stuff that's going to make that a great experience. And we can draw on a lot of the research that companies are doing that's been really outstanding, see what looks great, what works great, and pull that back into the core software. And that's something that I'd really love to see happen versus a continued trend of just, you know, gobbling up the teams that are creating good experiences, pulling them in-house, and then making that yours. Uh, I'd love to see more of that kind of sharing environment of saying, hey, here's a great experience, and here's why we think it's a good candidate to be part of the core software. That's all I got. Hope you're having a good day. See you later.